talking about controllers and I'm using a smart controller in particular I just want to talk about the uh, use of using uh, modified systems on this controller uh, if you can look closely you'll see that I have two joysticks which are slightly different from each other this is a low profile one on the right and as you can see when I put my thumb on the side here and on top of the uh, modified joystick I can move small increments as well as large ones with my right joystick technique um, on the other side you'll see that there's uh, the regular stick and if I pinch it basically holding the thumb and uh, finger I can move small increments as well and this prevents me this long stick prevents me touching this corner which somehow uh, triggers the uh, the DJI symbol which resets it to the uh, start page so I don't want to touch that bit hence this little tape which desensitizes this area so once I move away from it with this long stick I can control the rudder as well as the height also my other fingers can control the um, record button or the uh, Um, gimbal tilt. Other features as well is the uh, audio in. I'm not using the onboard microphone system because I'm getting really horrible um, tinny quality. So I'm using this uh, what is described as 3D sound. It's basically a audio adapter to a USB fitting and it seems to work with uh, DJI and uh, another app I'm using is on the arcade which is a screen capture to live stream so I can live stream or or screen capture through the DJI system um, my flights for any particular tutorials as you can see if I use something like this microphone which is just a normal um, microphone with uh, typical connections um, ground and the tip I can connect to the adapter and speak through this I've got it all um, covered up here with this uh, sort of fluffy material so it reduces the wind noise uh, especially if I'm doing uh, any flying for kite servers or any high wind flying in general um, the last thing here is the uh, modified antenna this is a passive antenna so basically it will focus all the uh, strength of the um, 2.4 gigahertz or or even the 5.8 gigahertz radio signals in and out of this uh, directional antenna. Uh, this is removable by the way, as you can see, and you can break it down and you can fold it into this pouch. So hopefully all I have to do is just take this off and take out the USB and I can fold it into this little pouch which is like a neoprene material and I can just fit it in here this whole bag is around about five six kilograms so it isn't light but um, it's light enough for me to do um, a casual walk around this area which is about a mile away from my um, apartment so uh, yeah I can walk with this and still have freedom to uh, carry all this 
unlike my Inspire. Anyway, um, this is my unit and this is my drone which has taken a couple of bangs as you can see. And it has a ND16 on it already, so with a hard case as you can see, it looks a bit battered. And then you've got the uh, ND filters here, which uh, holds all the colours of the rainbow, 32, uh, ND4, ND64 and a clear one, which is the original Hasselblad cover. And I use that at night. Others, these others are mostly for the daytime. And um, yeah, I've got an ND16 on this already. So this is my setup. I'm hoping uh, I can fly at the moment. Uh, Now uh, we're up in the air and we're just going to see uh, a boat just nearby actually. As you can see I'm going to be orbiting around him. Here is a typical boat chase manoeuvre. I position myself behind the boat and always point the camera towards it as I accelerate around him. Notice the left stick and the right stick are moving different proportions to accommodate this camera lock position. Camera tilt moves to keep the boat in frame due to the high altitude of the drone looking down. But flying at lower altitudes around about 5 meters or so you can avoid using the tilt. Flying your drone to match the speed of the boat requires some right hand technique. Linear Expose helps you match the right amount of effort for the right amount of speed. The downsides for Linear Expose is that you are required to make very tiny joystick movements. A typical DJI drone will have two speeds, the P mode and the sports mode. In P mode I would normally have Linear Expose for the throttle and for the right stick. For sports mode I would tune down the right stick Expose to allow for more control. The low profile right joystick allows me to steady my thumb against the top of the joystick and gives me better control. New joystick configuration gives me better control in sports mode as well as P mode. The secret to all of this is to stunt your controls by steadying it against the side of the joystick like I said for the low profile joystick and to pinch hold the left stick. The final part is to look at the camera view grid lines and use it as a means to guide your drone and to compensate for your aircraft drifting off screen. A typical subject or filmer will make adjustments to their speed and steering. So I normally film from a 5 meter distance away from the subject. It allows me to crop in in editing and also gives me a extra safety distance. I hope that this video helps you with your drone flying. Please like and subscribe for some more hints and tips and I'll see you again. Cheers.